<laughs> okay, we play a little game of If You Only Knew, Taryn. I just throw some questions at you. Okay. Who is your childhood celebrity crush? Oh, my goodness. Um, childhood. Um, probably, like, uh, uh, Corey, Corey Haim. Secret talent. That can do a handstand for, like, a minute or really? two. Really? Mm -hmm. Biggest risk you've ever taken? And I probably just, um, maybe jumping into this crazy line of work. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty pleasure. I like, a, I like salt. Salt. I like sea salt. Oddest fan encounter. There's this one, there's this one gentleman that, um, I like unicorns, okay? I've liked them for a long time. They're a beautiful thing to me. But I showed up to a big ginormous package at my front door of my home. I was with my mother, and it was huge. And we were both like, what's in it? You know, we were a little freaked out to open it. And, and it was mm -hmm. basically like, all right, one, two, three. And we popped open. It was like a life-size unicorn. Huge unicorn. And then right away, it's like, he hit me on Facebook, like, so what'd you think? I'm like, <laughs> <"Who's?"> <laughs> <laughs> it was a little odd. It was a little odd, you know, especially you at my You ever meet him? No, I've never met him. Yeah. No, he did come to a show. Yep, came to a Is concert. he normal? He was sweet. <laughs> uh, something on your professional bucket list. Um, I would like to. I would like to do. Uh, well, I'm, I, I've been directing, um, I, and I've been writing. You know, some some comedy material that I can't wait for people to experience, because I've I've gotten sort of typecast as very uh, troubled and just playing these just down. Cerebral. Yeah, I just you know, and it's like I'm actually kind of a goofball in real life and it's sometimes can be frustrating but directing and producing and then just also like just just uh, some humanitarian work in, in helping people uh, believe that dreams can come true because I'm not a dream crusher I believe that you can come from like anywhere and you know if you hone your craft and sharpen your tool that you too can have what we have what's on your personal bucket list my personal bucket list. Um, probably to make amends with my, my family and my mother. Person you trade places with for a day. Mm, that's a good one. For a day. Hmm. Maybe like Meryl Streep. Something you wish you were better at. I wish I was better at, uh, I guess, writing. Strangest job you've ever had. Probably Maurice's Burrito Adventure. You what? <laughs> it was called Marisa's Burrito Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> What's the biggest perk of being a celebrity? Uh, the biggest perk um, of being a celebrity, a celebrity. Mm. An actor or? Yeah, well, people know you now. They know you. Right. They see the show. You get like, like people actually listen. They don't just go like, oh, who's this little, you know, blonde short girl. It's like, I don't know, people actually, listen now to what I have to say. They pay attention to you. I guess, yeah, that's <laughs> the point. Uh, what superpower would you like to have? Um, just to uh, read people's minds. <laughs> if you weren't an actor and a musician, what, what do you think you'd do? I think that I would be into holistic healing, like acupuncture and like energy healing, and probably go to a mountain and meditate in silence and be a monk. Tell me something we don't know about you. I don't know, like a lot, <laughs> but um, no, like no skeletons in my closet, but. Um, no skeletons. Are you married? No. Ever been close? Mm -hmm. I was engaged. Wow. Have you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, good question. <laughs> Do you want to be married? Mm hmm. Want to have children? I would, yeah, but I'm getting older, so I don't, I don't know if that's possible, but I am open to adopt. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.